tell by my voice i ain't been up too long okay so i want to get on up and get these messages out to you guys today i got a busy crazy week okay i know i have been cutting back on y'all readings a little bit been come back period haven't been trying to be just like time just been getting away from me okay so you guys this is going to be your horoscope for it's the first of the month wake up wake up wake up get your check and get up okay so it is the first of the month. We have made it through another month. We all made it through eclipse season, retrograde season. Even though I think Aquarius went into retrograde today, or we'll be going into retrograde this week. But we survived, you guys. Okay, so pat yourself on the back, baby. You made it. So let's see what is coming towards you. This is just going to be the first of the month. I might go back and do a May horoscope. I haven't did those in a while. Okay, so. Let's see what is coming towards you May the 1st. Let's start off with angel messages. If anything resonates, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. I am running a special on my readings, and that information will be in the description box below. All right, so let's get angel messages for Scorpio, May the 1st. What is it that Scorpio needs to know? Oh, damn. Okay. All right, Scorpio, you could be like me. Your birthday could be November the 19th. 1119, you have successfully completed a cycle, and now a new cycle is about to begin. So if you haven't seen 1119, this means that you have ended. You know, nine talks about endings. So you have ended some type of cycle. You have successfully, baby, completed some type of cycle in your life. And now a new cycle is about to begin for you. So congratulations, Scorpio, for completing, which I'm sure was a hard-ass cycle here. We have 77. You will be rewarded by the divine for having a positive impact on other people. So something that you are doing now or something that you will be doing in the future, Scorpio, you're going to be having a very powerful and a very positive impact on other people because people are going to be listening to you okay they're going to be watching you they're going to be wanting your guidance you are being encouraged to continue on this path by using your intuitive abilities here okay so some of you guys are very intuitive and it's a gift okay and so something that you're going to be doing with, with whatever it's going to be you're going to be using your intuitive abilities to be able to lead people and guide them okay and you're also going to have a major impact on people's lives we got 313 how you receive the life you desire is based on the ability to communicate, okay? So this talks about manifesting. The only way that you can create the life that you desire is to manifest that shit, okay? Open your ears and your heart to new wisdom. So you have to be able to listen, and you also have to be able to receive some type of new wisdom, some type of guidance, some type of information that's going to be coming to you, okay? Oh, do I need to make this a my reading? I don't know what I need to do, Scorpio. This may be May. Let's make this May. This going to be your May horoscope for the month. Yeah. All right. So what is coming toward now? I don't know what I want to do. <laughs> Shit. Hold on, y'all. We just want to stick for today. Yeah, I had to think about it. We're just going to do today. I may come back and do a May horoscope. Okay, so let's see, let's see what's being activated for us today, Scorpio. We have healing. All right, so what's being activated for us is the ability to be able to heal, okay? When you don't heal from your past, when you don't heal from hurt and pain, when you don't heal from trauma or anything that you experience, you hold on to that energy, right? Okay, so when you hold on to any negative energy that you have, it causes blockages. It can block your heart. It can block anything, you know, and when you have those blockages, you aren't able to receive here. So I feel like 
The frequency of healing is going to give you the ability to restore your health. Because some of you, this healing doesn't even have to do, it doesn't always have to be about, you know, uh, relationship-wise. It can also be health-wise, physical-wise. So the ability to restore your health and wholeness by consciously using the information that comes to us by our senses and harmonizing everything accordingly here, okay? So I feel like this is just 313. I feel like for some of you, your diet could possibly be changed. And maybe you're thinking about changing your eating habits here. And also with this green, this is more about self-love, okay? So I feel like there's some things that's going to be changing about your health. The spirit is going to be guiding you. But you must listen with your ears. You must be open with your heart because some of you, this is going to be like a major change. Like you healing, or this healing process, especially health-wise, like you're going to be changing your diet. Some of you could become vegan, you know, but you're going to be doing things differently. And spirit is going to be guiding you each and every step of the way here, okay? What does Scorpio need to know? May the first Holy Spirit. What is being activated for my beautiful and my handsome Scorpio? All right, so we have solar plexus here. You know what, Scorpio Elfie? This is going to be your May reading. This is the first of the month, Elfie. This is going to be your May reading, you guys, okay? I feel like your solar plexus is going to be activated this month. The color yellow could be very significant here. I feel like you're going to have a better sense of self this month. I feel like, you know... You really understand who you truly are, the power that you have, the things that you're capable of doing. Like You're going to truly understand who you are. You're going to understand more about your personal power, your willpower, your desire, as well as knowing who you are and, who, and how you're going to contribute to the world in, as a whole. Okay, So I feel like this month, Spirit is going to be really working with some of you guys on your divine path and showing you like your destiny, what you're supposed to be doing and how much of an impact you're going to have on other people. Because I feel like it's very important that you know how powerful that you are, because once you know and you realize your power, you start to stand in that power. Do you hear me? So I feel like this month you guys will be doing a lot of healing, but this is also going to be to your physical body here. OK, this has a lot to do with your health. All right, so let's do one more card. Month of May. All right, you guys. The so universe is really going to be showing you a lot of love this month, okay? You can be 44 years old or the number 44. Could be significant here. I feel like this love, especially with this four, is going to bring you a lot of more stability. You're going to feel more grounded. You're going to feel more safe and secure within yourself. And I feel like you're going to be able to uh, uh, attack, you know, your passions, like your dreams, those things that you really want for yourself. This is the time that you're going to be able to really rise to the occasion, okay? The frequency of universal love activates the connection that you feel to each other. So you're going to be feeling really connected to other people, okay, to your planet and to the whole existence itself, to the, to the earth, to the universe, to the world as a whole here, okay? All right, you guys. So let's see. Where are we going now? Because I know this is going to be a May reading. So what else does Scorpio need to know for the month of May? Let's get a little bit of money going on. All right, so let's get a couple of money messages here. Let's see what your money is going to be looking like for the month of May for Scorpio. All right, one more. Okay. All right, so month of May, money messages. What does Scorpio need to know, okay? So I feel like some of you will be doing a lot of traveling here. I feel like this month, things are going to really start to move forward for you. But for some of you, things are going to be moving very quickly, okay? So I feel like this is the energy that you guys really need to be ready to receive here, okay? I feel like this is the month that you should be ready. If you if you plant those seeds in the past, I feel like be ready to reap what, re, re, reap what you sown this month, okay? We also have retail. If you have an idea in mind, okay, you're going to get the green light. Some of you guys have been wanting to maybe do like a pop-up shop or, you know, sell or do something, sell goods and services here. And I feel like this month, this is going to be the month that you're going to start to open or you will be opening your online business. Some of you could be starting a web page this month, but you're going to be focusing more on your business here, okay? Now, I feel like there has been a lot of ups and downs when it comes to 
your finances. For some of you, it's like as soon as you get some money, that should be gone as well. So spirit is really needing you to be ready for these unexpected changes regarding your money, okay? Fast changes regarding money or unexpected turn of finance. I feel like because your money has been so up and down in the past, I feel like in the month of May, you guys are going to experience more stability when it comes to your finances, okay? You're not going to have all that up and down ass energy. We also have settling here. For some of you, your soul is going to be telling you that you are on the wrong path. Allow yourself time and space to evolve and find your true path, okay? Some of you are avoiding this because you're needing to take some type of action, but maybe you're confused, you're not sure what to do because look at her. She looks a little confused, like you're not making any movements, kind of like a stalemate, like you're in a stalemate with yourself because you're unsure of what's going to happen or, you know, the unknown. It's like you're kind of like doing anything, okay? So make sure this month that you're not choosing to settle for anything, Scorpio. We don't settle for shit. Some of you may be feeling like, you know, if you feel like you're settling and you're not really satisfied with your relationships, with money, your career this month, this is when, you know, there needs to be some type of change then, okay? All right, let's pull one more. Let's pull a couple of more money messages, and then we're going to get into it and see what is going to be coming to you guys for the month of May. What is it that my beautiful and my handsome Scorpios, what do they need to know? All right, so let's get some more money messages for the month of May. What does Scorpio need to know? I love you, Scorpio. All right, you guys, so this month you can be lending a helping hand or somebody will be lending you a helping hand, you know, okay? So somebody could be in need of some type of assistance. This could be you. Maybe you could be assisting someone else, okay? Look at this. I can't make this up. Take care of your body. Make sure this month some of you really need to focus on exercise, okay? Getting up, moving around, but making it more, making it more of a routine in your life, okay? Make sure that you're resting and you're also eating right. So this month, I feel like this is more of you healing in a more physical and spiritual way, but also you're going to be taking care of paying attention more to your health and your body. We also have a spin. Okay. So this month, I feel like, like I said, where's that card? I can't make this up. For some of you, your money has been up and down. Okay. But since it has been up and down, there are going to be some fast changes coming in when it comes to your money. I can't make this up for some of you this month. You're going to be way more financially stable than you've ever been in the past, okay? You're going to be able to enjoy your money. So you're going to be making money, but you also get to enjoy it. In the past, you know, we made money and shit. We got to pay this bill. We got to do this. We got to pay this person back. But now you're going to be actually able to enjoy the money that you're making here, okay? People are also going to be talking about you and what you're doing, how you're getting your money this month, Scorpio, because I feel like people are really going to see you like this month. For you, Scorpio, I feel like for some of you guys, this is going to be your come up month, okay? If you've been experiencing a lot of up and down with your money, your finances, everything in life, this is going to be your come up month, okay? Now, for some of you, there can be drama around you where you're allowing that drama to interfere with your Oh, excuse me, interfere with your personal life or with your money and spirit is saying, uh-uh, we don't let no gossip, no drama get in the way of no money. Do you hear me? So this month, because like I said, you're going to be making more money. People be going, is going to be watching you, seeing you make these purchases, seeing you spend. And they're going to be like, how Scorpio doing what they do here? Then we got loan, okay, giving or receiving money. I can't make this up. Some of you are either going to be giving money you're going to be helping someone else or someone is going to be giving you a loan or donating to you in some type of way okay uh, uh giving you money maybe to your projects or helping you out with your business like whatever here all right let's get one more money message for scorpio in the month of may then we're gonna get into this energy y'all let's see what else is going on all right we got a contract so, you guys, in the month of May, some of you will be signing some type of contract. Now, this can be an agreement. This can be a lease agreement, maybe for your own business. Maybe some of you are looking for a building to, you know, where you can sell your products, like I said, a pop-up shop. Maybe some of you are going to be moving, you know, leasing a storage building, whatever it is. This could be a loan, but this is something that's going to happen now or this is going to happen in the near future for a lot of you guys, okay? All right, so let's get into it. What is coming towards Scorpio? Ooh. 
What is coming towards Scorpio in the month of May, Holy Spirit? What messages do we have for Scorpio? What does Scorpio need to know for the month of May? What is going on with my beautiful and my handsome Scorpios, Holy Spirit? If anything has been resonating for you, Scorpio, do not forget to like this video here. This is your first time viewing. I want to say welcome to my channel, y'all. All right, so we're trying to tap into May. Messages for my beautiful and my handsome Scorpio, Holy Spirit. What do they need to know? What is coming towards them in the month of May? What is coming towards Scorpio in the month of May, Holy Spirit? All right, so we got Nightmare. All right, so someone here could be suffering. Okay, this could be someone who's suffering emotionally here. This could be someone who's suffering financially here. But there is going to be someone who's going to be in this energy of suffering. They're going to be in the darkness here. But I feel like something, like some type of move, something that you're doing, Scorpio, is going to be like this person's worst nightmare is what I just heard, okay? So I feel like, a because remember, you're going to be rewarded. I can't make this up. Some of you guys this month, you're really going to be rewarded for how you're making an impact on other people here, okay? And I feel like for some of you, this reward, this this money, these blessings, okay, this is going to be like a nightmare for someone, okay? We're going to clarify this. Some of you may be having nightmares this month, you know, suffering, be, being in the darkness here, but this, give me someone else's energy. All right, tell us more, Holy Spirit. Messages for Scorpio for the month of May. What does Scorpio need to know what is coming towards him for the month of May? Mm, okay. Okay, Scorpio, you will be experiencing eternal love, okay? You can be 50 years old. But I feel like someone in your life, okay, some of you could be meeting a soulmate or you will be dealing with a soulmate, but this is someone who's going to give you and show you that consistency. I don't know about y'all, but I need consistency. You know, some people feel like they do something one time, they good. Nah, motherfucker, I need you to do that on a regular basis here, okay? So someone is going to give you that consistency, consistency and show you, Scorpio, that they really want you, okay? Someone here... I feel like it's going to be experiencing eternal love. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're going to feel this love deep down inside. You're going to feel, okay, well, this person might really want to be with me. Like, I feel like someone here is going to show you some things that you've never seen before. So if you're in a relationship, you guys, if you're dating or talking to someone, for some of you, this person is going to be very consistent. Like, they're going to always call you, always be there for you, like, always let you know you know, that they're going to be there for you. Okay. And for some of you, this could be somebody's worst nightmare. Remember I said something could be somebody's worst nightmare. And it could be that you're going to be experiencing this eternal love. You're going to be dealing with, for some of you guys, a soulmate here. Remember, we are in Taurus season, you guys. Taurus season represents our seventh house, which has to do with relationships. Let me go get my astrology as well. Or for some of you as well, with this 50, this could be someone, like, it's going to be an equal give and take. It's going to be a 50-50. You know, I don't know about y'all. I want it to be 100-100. I give 100, and they give 100 too, okay? But this is going to be like a 50-50. They're going to give to you just like you're giving to them here, okay? All right, y'all. So let's tell us more how this did. What is it that my beautiful and handsome Scorpios need to know? What's coming towards them in the month of May? What is coming towards Scorpio in the month of May, you guys? Okay, so we have endorsement. So someone could be trying to bribe you, trying to persuade you, trying to tempt you in some type of way. Okay, so somebody could be trying to bribe you by giving you gifts, giving you money. Like, hey, Scorpio, you do this. You know what I'm saying? You scratch my back, I scratch yours type. Okay, this could be in business. For some of you, this could be a relationship-wise. It could be family member, friend. But somebody this month is going to try to persuade you. They're going to try to bribe you to do something against your will or, or against your better knowledge. Like, you know, you shouldn't be taking this money. You shouldn't be doing this. But they're going to try their best to tempt you here, okay? All right, tell us more, Holy Spirit. All right, we got Val. Look at this, you guys. 
some type of wish is about to be coming true for you, okay? You've really been, I feel like some of you have created some type of altar or some type of sacred space in your home where you pray, you meditate, you know, you sage, you cleanse this energy. But I feel like you made a, a, a vow to yourself and to the Holy Spirit here. I feel like you had a lot of hope. But I feel like some wish is going to be fulfilled for you guys. We got 50, 52, and 54. So it's like things are really starting to move forward here, okay? Things can happen for you guys in twos. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, like, when something happens, it can happen in two. Like, you may get some money and, you know what I'm saying, a, a, a free meal or something. You know what I'm saying? I can't think of nothing right now. But you know what I'm saying is your blessings are about to be coming in twos. That's what I'm seeing here, okay? Let's get one more. Let's get a couple of more. We're going to get the energy, too. Messages for my beautiful and my handsome Scorpio, Holy Spirit. What is coming towards Scorpio in the month of May? We're going to get this energy, too. What is coming towards Scorpio in the month of May? All right. You can be dealing with someone who is stubborn as hell, okay? Number 77. I can't make this up. Some of you could be seeing quadruple sevens. I think I got that saved. In my phone, I've seen that one time, okay? You can be dealing with somebody who's very stubborn, okay? They're selfish. They're not going to be trying to hear what you got to say. So you could be giving somebody some advice. They're going to be trying to take that advice, okay? Because this is somebody who's very arrogant. And they got this attitude, like, can't nobody tell me nothing because I already know it, okay? So you can be dealing with the know-it-all this month. Okay, and this could be someone, like I said, there. I don't know if you're going to be trying to tell this person something or the universe could be trying to show this person something. But with this person being a redhead, they can also have a temper too. Okay, this could be somebody who's very stubborn and when you piss them off because you're trying to tell them something, this is a know-it-all. You know, so when you're just trying to give this person advice or tell them something that's going to be beneficial for them, like they can act a damn fool with you, Okay. All right, let's get one more, then let's get into this energy, and then we're going to clarify. Messages for Scorpio in the month of May. What do they need to know? Ooh, Scorpio, we got third wheel. All right, so we got the enemy. Some of you could be dealing in a with a third-party situation here. All right, somebody could be flirting with someone or dealing with someone behind your back. Okay, or this could be someone who views you. As the enemy here. So we definitely going to pull on this third wheel. All right. So let's get the energy here right quick. Hold on. Before we get into the energy, let me pull a couple of messages from the astrology here. Let's, let's check out the grid. Let's see what's going to be going on for my Scorpios in the month of May. Okay. You don't have to be Scorpio sun. You can be moon, rising, Venus, whatever Scorpio placements you got. Okay. You still a Scorpio in my eyes here. Okay. All right, so let's get into this, and then I'm going to get into the energy here. My car is so messy. I be trying to organize them, but I can't. Okay, so what type of energy? Holy Spirit, let's get into the grid here. What does Scorpio need to know for the month of May, Holy Spirit? Messages for Scorpio. What do they need to know for the month of May? Messages for my beautiful and my handsome Scorpios. I love you, Scorpio. What do they need to know? What is coming towards them in the month of May? Okay. All right, so we have quintile, okay? This can be a very creative time for some of you guys, especially if you have a quintile somewhere in your birth chart. Life is going to be more fulfilling for you. So make sure that you look at your birth chart. See what aspects is going to be in your quintile here because this is going to allow you to have a more creative space okay be able to create and, and do the things that you want to life is going to feel more fulfilling this month okay we also have 11th house so you could be doing things within the community or people are going to be viewing you this is ruled by your um uranus and aquarius so maybe you're going to be meeting like a soul tribe we're going to be uh dealing with different organizations associations politics you could be interested in ecology, social media. You're going to be connected with people on social media here. But you're going to be thinking about your future, working on these big goals and new ideas that you have. I can't make this up, you guys. We also have semi-square, okay? So there could be some times this month where 
you're going to be inflexible, okay? Or that means you're not going to be able to do everything that you're wanting to do, and you're going to be aware of this. But what this is doing is causing you to be more flexible, okay? So some of you, like, you have a routine, and it's like you go you, you go strictly daily by your routine, okay? Well, what is something happening? You can't do what you were supposed to be doing. So something this month can cause you to be more flexible in your day-to-day -day life, especially when it comes to business matter, okay? Adapt to change and move past blocks. I feel like some of you are just... You love routines, and there's nothing wrong with that. But also, you have to make sure that you can be flexible because the universe can sh uh, throw a curveball at you at any time, and you got to be ready, okay? We always got to stay ready, so we ain't got to get ready. Then we have Gemini. So you can have a, a quintile with Gemini, or also Gemini season can be significant as well, okay? So let's get the energy, you guys, and then I'm going to clarify some of these. So let's get the energy. What is going to be the energy surrounding Scorpio for the month of May, Holy Spirit? Messages for my beautiful and my handsome Scorpio. What is going to be the energy, Holy Spirit, that is surrounding Scorpio in the month of May? One more, y'all. Okay. So what type of energy is going to be surrounding Scorpio in the month? Ooh. <laughs> All right, Scorpio, some of you could be a little extra, you know, horny like this month, okay? Especially if it's been a while since, you know, you didn't have some. So you can be kind of in this more sexual energy this month or someone who maybe hasn't had sex with you in a while. Scorpio could be thinking for you. That's what I'm getting, okay? Look at this. Someone is going to be wanting to reach out and talk to you guys, okay? For some of you, this could be a family member, so you may have cut some family members off, okay? And there could be a particular family member that wants to reach out or wants to talk to you. All right, let's get a couple of more. Messages for my Scorpios. What type of energy is going to be around Scorpio for the month of May? Messages for my beautiful and my handsome Scorpios. What type of energy is going to be around Scorpio for the month of May? Ooh, look at this, Scorpio. Positive energy, okay? Good vibes only. We can't make this up, you guys. All right, there's going to be someone who's going to be reminiscing, okay? So you could have blocked this person. You don't cut this person off. And it's like the only thing they can do is just read you guys' as messages about the good times. And, you know, when things, when you and this person are going to better time. All right, we got finessing. There could be someone who's going to be trying to finish you. We already know somebody's going to be trying to bribe you here, okay? What is it? Somebody could be trying to bribe you, trying to finish you in some type of way. And we also have pregnant. So some of you, maybe you could be finding out you're pregnant. Someone around you could be pregnant here. Or you could be finding out that someone is pregnant here. So let's get into it, y'all. Let's get into this energy. All right, so let's clarify some things. First of all, let's look at Nightmare. Because uh, Eternal Love came out right after Nightmare here, okay? So let's clarify this. Messages for my beautiful and my handsome Scorpio, Holy Spirit. Can you clarify this Nightmare? Who is going to be in this energy of a Nightmare? Or who is going to feel like this is like a Nightmare here? Tell us about Nightmare Holy Spirit. Who's going to be suffering? Ooh, that came out quick. Ooh, Scorpio, Six of Wands. I'm telling you, something that you're going to be doing is like somebody's worst nightmare. For some of you, it's your success. It's the fact that you are about to really be rising to the cage. Like I said, you're about to be really, for some of you guys, you're about to really be feeling yourself this May, okay? Everything that you've ever wished, everything that you've ever wanted, Scorpio, if you don't get it, you're going to see that you can here. You're going to be really celebrated this month. And it's because you're pure. All your intentions, everything that you do, you're very pure and you're very genuine here. You're going to get recognized for some of you. You're going to be rewarded here. We already know. So this month, sevens could be very significant here, letting you know that the universe is really about to reward you. You're going to feel very successful. You're going to feel accomplished here. Some of you are going to experience fame. You know, of feeling like you a celebrity here. This is also be some type of possible engagement because we do have someone who's going to be very consistent. They're going to give you that consistency. They're going to give you that equal give and take here, okay? So some of you can actually be getting engaged, but you're going to feel this energy of people starting to 
really appreciate all the hard work, all the effort, all the time, all the dedication that you've been put into your craft, your business, your goals, your dreams. Like you're going to feel this energy of success. And for some of you, this is going to be someone's worst nightmare that you are experiencing this success. You're having these type of things in your life. Okay. And then for some of you, you're going to get success and you're going to get love. You know what I'm saying? Tell us more, Holy Spirit. Tell us about this nightmare. Some of you could be dealing with a Leo here, okay? Or you can have um, your 10th house can be in Leo, okay? That's how the world views you, okay? A Leo season can be significant, okay? That is our 10th house, okay? All right, nightmare, Holy Spirit. Tell us about this nightmare. Messages for my Scorpios. Oh, yes, because some of you, something's going to happen unexpectedly. For some of you, this success, like, you can be like an overnight celebrity. Like, something could go viral for you, but it's going to be very unexpected. You becoming successful, like, you didn't even see this shit coming. You see what I'm saying? Like, this is somebody's worst nightmare because they fear. Remember that reading I did yesterday? People fear about what's going to happen once you really start to stand in your power here. So I feel like there can be a tower here, something that's going to be unexpected. Let's listen and look at this tower right quick, y'all. All okay, so this is going to be some type of surprise, okay, an aha moment. This is going to be something that you never saw coming here and we got surprise engaged some of you you may be getting engaged this month here okay because the see the ones in the tower both of these talks about that let's get a couple of more messages for scorpio what is what is tell us more about this nightmare i want to know why what what is this nightmare here Tell us more about this nightmare, Holy Spirit. Clarify this nightmare for Scorpio. Yeah, we got the nine of wands. Lots of fire energy here, okay? Someone could be wanting you to lay down your guard here. Or you could be laying down your guard when it comes to people or situations. Somebody could be trying to play victim. Someone here feels like they've been defeated. So someone here has viewed you as competition. But this month, baby, you're about to show up and show out. Do you hear me? Someone's health or well-being could be at risk, okay? I feel like for some of you, that's why you're being advised to take care of your body, exercise more, okay? Maybe you're going to be working a lot. You've been doing a lot. Yeah, but someone here feels like they're going to be defeated. Someone could be trying to trick you, okay? They don't want to see you be happy, you guys, okay? Because you're about to experience eternal love. And this could be someone who's going to be a third party in your relationship here. Let, let me clarify these. Tell us about eternal love. Messages for my Scorpio. Look at this. The Queen of Wands. Yes, because you're in this energy of attracting. You're very protected, Scorpio. You're like a money magnet for some of you. You're you, you attracting everything that you want, everything that you desire in your life. And for some of you, it's the soulmate energy. Like whatever it is that you want to attract this month, you guys, you're in this Queen of Wands energy, whether you are male or or a female, okay? This is someone who, like, they command the room. When this queen of wands walk in, everybody looking at them like, damn, who is that? You know what I'm saying? This is someone who's very outgoing, beautiful. They command the room. You're going to step into this boss energy, but you're also very loyal in love here, okay? Yes, Lord. Okay, so let's get third wheel. Messages for my Scorpios, Holy Spirit. Tell us about this third wheel. Messages for Scorpio. Tell us about this third wheel. Knight of Pentacles, yeah. <laughs> you guys, for some of you, this person didn't have took this long time to bring you this little bitty ass offer here. Because you see this pinnacle is small as hell. For some of you, you're gonna be experiencing eternal love. Okay, you're gonna be finding a soulmate. You're gonna give. You're gonna be meeting someone that's gonna give and and do everything for you that this past person did not, and they're gonna hate this shit. And for some of you, they're gonna be wanting you to sneak behind this person's back, and they wanna be a third wheel in your situation. Okay, this is not a pinnacle. This is a person that took you a long time 
to make some type of offer. This is someone who, for some of you guys, they want to become a third party in your situation, okay? Don't trust this person. This is how they're going to try to tempt you and try to bribe you here. This is what we talking about. And this light is going to be showing. You see this light coming down? You're going to see for some of you guys, you ain't going to believe this shit until they, they offer you. For some of you, they can hit you up online here with this computer, send you a message, you know what I'm saying, on social media. You ain't going to be able to believe that this person is trying to bribe you. But they don't want to see you happy, Scorpio, okay? Especially if this is a past lover. This person don't want to see you happy. And they damn sure don't want to see you experiencing eternal love here, okay? All right, you guys. So we got Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. We got Pisces, Aries, Scorpio, and Leo. So let's see who this reading is about. All right, you can be dealing with Libra, Scorpio, Gemini, Pisces. We have Libra, Sag, Leo, Virgo. And we have Can Heavy Cancer, Aquarius, and sad here, okay? All right, you guys. I love you. And until next time, stay blessed.